All the niggas round me, ride or they die Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by I just caught a shorty off a of famous star Just the one I'm ready to see T Squad, y'all ready to get into the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 13 reunion looks? I'm ready, okay? According to BravoTV.com, the vibe of this reunion is dark, sensual, and a whole lot of classic glamour. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast truly outdid themselves by their season 13 reunion. For the occasion, the ladies shined in stunning styles that lit up the Los Angeles night of their gorgeous set, turning up the heat with striking colors, beaded designs, sparkly embellishments, couture details, and head-turning accessories. Additionally, the ladies were sure to bring their A-game on the glam front with shimmering eyes, luscious waves, sleek updos, structured ponytails, bold colored lips, and more also the ladies were going for spectacular glam 80s vibes and more okay now let's get into the looks first up we have garcelle in dress and shoes by dolce and gabbana jewelry garcelle's own makeup natalie hair Devonte washington Fashion stylist Jessica Mulroney, inspiration slash vibe, classic glamour. To me, this is just so basic. Like, I'm so disappointed in Garcelle with this look. There is no jewelry. Like, the dress itself is just not enough. Yes, it's going to shine under the lights. It's going to look great with her skin complexion. But there's nothing going on. The bob blends in with the color of the dress. It'll probably look better underneath the lights. But no, this is just not bringing it for me. Like, this is just... I can't believe that they decided to go with this for the reunion. Like, I'm just so shocked. Her wig looks better than it ever has before. But Garcelle needs to realize she can't smile full on in photographs because it distorts her face and takes away from her beauty. The pose is so seventh grade picture day. Like, Garcelle, you are a model. Like, you can pose better than this. Like, I'm just so disappointed with this. This is so lazy. Gross. Roadkill. Erica Jane is up next and she is in a Balmain dress, Christian Louboutin heels, makeup by Michael Anthony, hair Clyde Haygood, fashion stylist Morgan Penny, inspiration slash vibe mega ultimate grand supreme, dishing with BravoTV.com backstage about her style. The performer noted she was going for Erica Jane 80s vibes. Now, this is my problem with Erica Jane at this point when it comes to reunion. You know, with the Beverly Hills cast, their attire is always cocktail attire, right? So they don't do full on gowns and all of that. But she refuses to switch it up. She rocks the same silhouette every freaking reunion. And I'm sick of it. Like, you supposed to be that girl when it comes to fashion. I need for you to change it up, honey. Do some pants. Do a, a, a ankle length. Do something different. Like, I'm so sick of this same dress from her over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. It is played out. This entire dress is so 2010. I hate these exaggerated Star Trek shoulders. I don't like the big buttons. I really don't even like her hair with this part down the middle. And then it's going like swooped back into a ponytail. Like, no, no, Erica. Road kill. Up next, we have Dorit Kimsley in a Scaparelli dress. Balmain shoes. Bottega Veneta jewelry. Makeup by Steven hair by Justin, Justine, I'm sorry, inspiration slash vibe, surrealism, fashion for monochrome, and baby, <laughs> this is how you come to a reunion, yes, Dorit, I told y'all, Scaparelli is one of my favorite designers, and baby, 
she did that. This is how you were Scaparelli. This is how you come to the reunion. This is how you slay the girls. She might not have did a thing during the season, honey, but she came with the look, the hair on point, makeup on point, the Bottega earrings that everybody are rocking right now that you can get a dupe on Amazon on point this dress with this hood the ruching everything about this is phenomenal I am gagging this goes down in history as one of my favorite reunion looks of all time Dorit did the dog on things she did what needed to be done in the words of La Roach fashion killer Crystal Minkoff is up next and she is in a Yannick Machado dress Shoes Saint Laurent, jewelry Arnasia, Beverly Hills, and 14 Karat. Makeup by Deanne, hair Jessica Gordon Carson, fashion stylist Dana Asher. Inspiration slash vibe, we chose designer Yannick Machado for his extensive knowledge and appreciation of Chinese culture as reflected in his work. His vision for me in green and citron is by far one of my favorite looks Dana and I have created, both sophisticated and romantic. Additionally, speaking backstage with BravoTV.com, Crystal noted of her custom couture sheath. When you have a dress like that, the rest doesn't matter. It is so spectacular. It is a piece of art. It's pretty special, she added about the look. It's definitely in line with my style, but just elevated and way more glam. Roadkill. Io hit up the reunion wearing a Victoria Beckham dress. Natalia Mahidi, or Mahetta, I don't know how to pronounce this child. Jewelry. Pamela Bogardi did her makeup and her hair was done by Angel Gonzalez. This is, uh, girl, this is what you were to a conference meeting, not to the reunion. This is so bland and boring. This color green is ugly. This is just so conservative, so pilgrimy. Like you dropped all this weight to where it is. Like you really out here looking like Morgan grandma and not her lover homie friend like girl no everything about this is just wrong kyle only thing cute is her hair but even that's basic girl get off my screen with this roll kill sudden hit up the reunion in dress and jewelry by scaparelli as well uh gian vito rossi shoes makeup by noal hair by ben skirvin for the dramatic sit down, Sutton chose a Maison Scaparelli dress, a specific choice considering the reunion was taking place during Couture Week. I'm missing out and Scaparelli op opened Couture Week, she shared with BravoTV.com backstage. I think it's always such an interesting show. This is a very subtle version of Scaparelli and it's got a flower with an eyeball on it because I need a third eye. She hilariously pointed out about the dress's intriguing embellishment detail around the neck. Um, I, I, I hate everything about this. Like after seeing the piece that Dorit chose from Scaparelli and then seeing this, it's like apples and oranges. This doesn't even look like a Scaparelli dress to me. Like this gotta be like a vintage Scaparelli piece because ain't no way. This is so boring. So boring. Girl, you could have got this at New York and Company. Cause Scaparelli is an arm in the league. Okay. I don't care how many jewelry pieces you got on from Scaparelli. It is not making this dress pop anymore than it already is because ain't nothing going on but the rent the shoes ain't working for me at all they don't even like go with the dress no no Sutton no not at all the hair is just stiff and quaffed and look like it got too much aquanet in it girl roadkill and Marie Wiley showed up to her first reunion in a Balmain dress Amina Mawadi heels Jason of Beverly Hills Jewelry, makeup done by Dion, 
hair done by Maisha Oliver backstage with Bravo TV.com and Marie noted she wanted a lighter look for the occasion opting for fun and a nice vibrant color that was ultimately comfortable for the long day ahead now if you're wondering huh haven't i seen somebody wear this to the reunion before yes in fact you have sharice wore the same dress to i believe last season's real housewives of potomac reunion i didn't like it on sharice and i don't like it on Anne marie it's not a cute Balmain dress. I don't know why these stylists keep on picking it out like it's just some amazing gown. It really isn't. The color doesn't pop. It's not a vibrant blue. Yeah, it got a little ruching and a split and a little cutout on the side, but it's not doing anything. Like, it's bland. Her hair is way too heavy and long, and it's not even really fitting the vibe of the dress I like the highlights but the hairstyle itself just does not go she's just way too covered up I just don't like this it was a no for Sharice and it's a even bigger no for Anne Marie roadkill and last but certainly not least we have surprise guest Kathy Hilton for the occasion Kathy dazzled in a sparkly silver sheer caplet and matching midi skirt over a beige underlay Kathy accessorized her style with sparkly pointed toe silver pumps and a silver mini bag that featured a large floral embellishment on the front I mean this is very ladies who lunch this is very Easter Sunday this is very much christening baptism attire you know it's it's old lady and I wish that Kathy would dress a little younger and fresher because she is a great looking woman great looking woman she can to tone down the mima of it all like you don't have to dress like you're a 95 year old ancestor <laughs> like you can spice it up a little bit she has a great body and everything like but this is just so meh it's like watching paint dry it's so boring I simply cannot this is a road kill goodbye okay t squad it's that time in the video it is time for me to present to you my fashion killer for the real housewives of beverly hills season 13 reunion and the award goes to none other than dorit you had to know it was going to be her i mean she slayed the house down boots in this look like none of the girls could compete or compare she did the doggone thing her and her whole glam squad came together and put this look together and it was mine blowing fashion killer and my roll kill for the season 13 real housewives of beverly hills reunion goes to unfortunately my girl sudden yeah she out here looking like a bag of potatoes i do not like this knapsack of a dress it does nothing for her body the shoes look like flats and they're not like i just don't like anything about this Ugh boo roll kill y'all let me know down below in the comment section what were your favorite and least favorite looks from this reunion let's talk about it make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video bye